I said I was charged with hate crimes, uh, with uh, vandalism, uh, theft, and uh, what's the other one? There was four charges. I don't want that flag. I mean, it, you know, theft has involved a, a desire to have an object, and I have no desire to get his stuff. I, I can't. How can I steal something? I've been all over the state for the Ten Commandments. Thieves go to hell. I'm not interested in stealing the man's flag. And if the guy had spoken to me, it would have been a different, it would have been a different story. If he had even responded, he didn't even respond. He just looked at me like, well, who are you? And half asleep, I guess, or maybe drugged, who knows? No, I wouldn't go back. And they tried to get me to plea bargain. I'd plea bargain it. That's just automatic sentence in the jail. And lying. I would be lying if I plea bargained. Because I was not guilty of what they said. I guess the thing that hurt me the most was that it was a Ray County grand jury of my friends who knew my dedication here that brought the charges. That was the cut. Because they knew, they knew that I, I love my country, and they knew that that all the things I had ever done were out of a pure heart, and yet they brought me on the awfulest charges. Were you convicted? Oh no, they were. They disappeared. Our adversary disappeared, and believe me, there was much prayer that went into this. People praying for me all over the country. God answered prayer. The, the DA, who I know, he said that they searched in four states to try to find those people. Makes you feel real good. But anyway, God intervened on behalf of patriotism. Looking back on it, do you think you would do anything differently? No. I'm not sorry. I didn't do anything wrong. He's the one that did something wrong. He provoked the act. It's amazing that, that I was the only one in better times or different times. If they had continued, they would have met some guys from back on the mountain. What happened to them? There's no telling. They would disappear. Has that happened in the past before? It has. With Mexicans or? No, just people that got out of line. I mean, this, you go back in the history of Ray County, and that would, if you got out of line, Ray County has history <laughs> way before I got here. You know, it's just like, uh, what is that, uh, Alabama town? There's just some places you don't go, Saudi days and so forth. If you, this is our country and we love our home and good buddy, you buy by the rules or you're a goner. <laughs> That's the way we used to handle it, but we don't do that. We're so nice now, we let them take all the property and smile and say, Jesus loves you. <laughs>